Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So our next Moment 5 feature update is currently being finalized in the release preview channel by Microsoft with Windows 11 builds 22621.3227 and 22631.3227 and that's with the next bug fix update KB5034848 and as I mentioned we are going to be getting the next bug fix update suggested to be rolling out uh, on the 27th of February, which is the last Tuesday of February 2024. So um, because it's in release preview now, just a couple of days before we get our next feature update. Now Microsoft does say along with this update, we are also releasing a February Windows configuration update. And this is the Moment 5 feature update. And as I've mentioned before, the Moment 5 will be released as a separate update along with the bug fix update if you have this toggle turned on get the latest updates as soon as they're available which will be KB5035349 and this will be for both Windows 11 version 22H2 and 23H2 that introduces a few new features and improvements and we're going to have a quick look at some of those just a brief overview because I have posted a whole video previously on Windows 11 Moment 5 feature update and what more or less to expect and I'll leave that down below because it will give you a little bit more info but just to go through this very quickly if you would be interested as to some of the uh, features we could see roll out now with Moment 5 if you have this toggle turned on when it does make its way into the stable version which as mentioned we should start seeing on the 27th of February. Now compared to Windows 11 version 24H2 Moment 5 is actually a small feature update and Microsoft is I'm leaving all the big features for version 24H2. So in effect, this is possibly the last moment update we will see for version 23H2 of Windows 11. Now, a lot of the um, so-called new improvements and features are to do with voice access, which Microsoft is focusing a lot on. And this is obviously an accessibility feature where you can use a voice to type and control your device. So just to go through what we more or less can expect to see when this does roll out to the stable version but go check that other video out if you want more info apparently voice access will be available in additional languages which will be french that's france canada german and spanish spain mexico you will also be able to use all voice access features on multiple displays there will also be voice shortcuts or custom commands in voice access you'll also be able to use voice access to open applications dictate text and interact with elements on the screen and you can also use your voice to command narrator. So quite a lot going on with voice access. And narrator is also an accessibility feature, as many of you will know. So if we just head to that quickly. Here we go. Narrator. And narrator is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen. And when it comes to narrator, you can now also listen to a preview of the 10 natural voices in narrator before you download them. So that's uh, quite a little small adjustment yet yet significant for narrator and so that's voice access and narrator and then windows share is something else that's um, going to be getting quite a lot of attention and that's the nearby share and uh, um, which basically lets you share files photos and links with nearby windows devices and uh, the windows share window will use the account you use to sign in for apps um, that are in share using for an example if you use a microsoft account MSA to sign in, you'll see Microsoft Teams. So when you use a Microsoft Entra ID account uh, to sign in, your Microsoft Teams contacts show instead. So that's more or less where the window will use the account you use to sign in for apps that are in share using. And then the Windows Share window will also support sharing with WhatsApp in the share using section. And if you do not have WhatsApp installed, you can install it from the Windows Share window. And when it comes to quick settings, apparently um, Microsoft says that um, you can use quick settings or the settings app to turn on nearby share when this update does roll out. If you do and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are off, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will turn on to make nearby share work as you expect. If you turn Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, sorry, if you turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, nearby share turns off as well. So quite a lot going on with uh, the nearby share and sharing. And uh, you'll also be able to give your device a more friendly name to identify it when sharing. So for this, obviously, you go to your settings system nearby sharing. And then, yeah, you'll be able to 
rename your device and they also have improved nearby share transfer speed for users on the same network. Before you had to be on the same private network, now you must be on the same public or private network. So quite a lot going on when it comes to voice access, nearby share and so on. And then heading back to the quick settings menu, what we can also expect to see is that the cast fly out menu in quick settings uh, will give you more help to find nearby displays, fixed connections and more. And when it comes to snap layouts, if you do use snap layouts, Microsoft say they will be adding suggestions to snap layouts. Apparently, um, they help you to instantly snap multiple app windows together. And then over and above that, there are improvements to the Microsoft 365 Cloud PC, where there will be improvements for Windows 365 Boot and Windows 365 Switch. And I think I did cover that in that previous video, so go check that out if you want more info regarding that. Now, if you don't have this toggle turned on, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Um, when this update rolls out, all you will get is the bug fixing update, KB5034848. And if you do have this toggle turned on, you'll get moment five plus the bug fixing update. So just take note of that. So if you want to stick around and just to go through more or less um, what will roll out with the actual bug fix update, KB5034848, it will include the following, following improvements. And we actually get three new features rolling out over the next couple of days with our next bug fix update. Uh, the Copilot in Windows Icon will now appear on the right side of the system tray. So I think that's now a given and that's going to be starting to roll out across the board, which I'm quite happy to see. I've spoken quite a lot on that, so I'm not going to really uh, delve too much into that moving to the right-hand side of the system tray. And then if we head back to our Bluetooth and devices uh, phone link, uh, this page is getting renamed to mobile devices so the phone link settings page will get a new name called mobile devices instead of phone link and then in regards to the snipping tool i'm just going to mention this quickly you can now use the snipping tool on your pc to edit the most recent photos and screenshots from your and android device uh, you will get an instant notification on your pc when your android device captures a new photo or screenshot and I also think I covered that in that previous video so go check that out so those are the new features that will be rolling out with the bug fix update and because obviously um, this is a bug fix update that will bring quality improvements just to go through some of the fixes and improvements if you would be interested that we can expect to see roll out shortly and just to mention these this update affects games you install on a secondary drive apparently now they remain installed on the drive so that's quite a significant fix it addresses an issue that affects Notepad. Apparently, it didn't open for the standard user account. It also addresses an issue that affects eight zip archives. Apparently, it stopped you from opening them by double-clicking them in File Explorer. And it also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Edge. The user interface was wrong for Internet Options data settings. And there's also a printer fix where the update addresses an issue that affects long edge fed printers. Um, the update addresses an issue that affects the Windows settings homepage. Apparently, it randomly stopped responding when you go to the page. So I haven't actually seen that issue yet. But nonetheless, that is a fix that's rolling out. And just uh, three more to go. It addresses an issue that affects networking. Networking, sorry, A device fails to make the automatic switch from cellular to Wi-Fi when it can use Wi-Fi. And the update address is an issue that makes the troubleshooting process fail. This occurs when you use the Get Help app. And the final one, just to mention, there are some others, but these are just some I pulled out that I thought you may be interested in. The update address is an issue that stops a system from going to sleep. This occurs when you connect an external device to the system. So that's more or less what we can expect to see with our next optional bug fix update, which will be KB5034848. And if you do have the get the latest updates as soon as they're available toggle turned on, you will also get KB5035349, which will be the configuration update that will bring the Moment 5 features, the fifth wave of new features, and we are expecting that to roll out in the next couple of days, possibly starting on the 27th of February 2024. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.